So I don't usually put face masks, but I'm putting one on today because I'm requested by the Bunka Foso radio station to put one when I enter the studio. Today I am going to be a guest for the news and chat show in the afternoon, so I have to put my face mask. So I have finished broadcasting, so I'm going to take all this off. I'm not used to, oh, there's a shinkansen in there. Uh, it's, uh, I hear that there are very few passengers on the shinkansen now. This has been the Bunka Oso radio station. I'm going to take a walk now through the streets of Tokyo. So I am now at the Shiogama Shrine near Shinpachi station and the tree blossoms are almost gone now so I have prayed that the coronavirus outbreak will subdue soon but I'm a scientist I it's almost a habitual thing to go to shrine and you know pray um, it's part of a cultural tradition not necessarily linked to any institutionalized religion so i'm approaching the simple station and i see a few people there but after the state of emergency statement from the Prime Minister. Maybe there are fewer people on the street. So the restaurants are open, but there are fewer customers compared to a typical evening in this season. So inside this building, the shops are open, but again, there are few customers. This is quite unusual. So this is the famous steam locomotive plaza, but you have the steam locomotive in front of the Shinbashi station. But there are very few people. Usually this place is packed with sorry men and you know people who are going to Izakaya to have a drink but there are really few people this evening. So there are still traffic, although the number of vehicles is perhaps less than usual. But public bus service is still operation. So are the taxis. So you have this strange feeling of business as usual in the heart of Tokyo. However, there are definitely less people on the streets. But the behavior of the people are not so different from a typical Tokyo evening. So it's really a strange sense of dreamlike experience. My favorite ramen noodle shop is open. There are almost no customers in that famous sushi restaurant. This is a famous Imperial Hotel. 
this hotel would have been very busy this year because of the Olympics and so on. But now the Olympics is cancelled, uh, rather postponed. And excuse my Freudian slip. And I wonder what the business is like now. So this is a famous uh, Takarazuka building. So this area would be usually very busy with fans running up to welcome the guests. But now all the performances are cancelled due to the coronavirus outbreak. Always shut down for the moment. This is where the Toho cinemas are. It's a multi screen cinema complex. This is Hibiya Mitta, where the Toho cinemas are, as well as many other commercial facilities, but everything is closed now. The whole building is closed. Usually all these nice restaurants that offer very great food but today everything is closed. Even the invincible Gojira looks a little sad today. You always see a really long line in front of this very popular dim sum restaurant. But today, you can get into this restaurant. Incredible. I never saw this restaurant so available. Now I'm entering my favorite street. The peninsula Tokyo is closed. Whole thing. Unbelievable. This really grand hotel, marvelous hotel, is closed for the moment because of the coronavirus. Unbelievable. Road construction is still going on. Oh, this famous French restaurant is also closed. So as you walk through the streets of Tokyo, very slowly the reality sinks in. This is not normal after all. You do see people walking around the streets, but presumably they are on business, you know, really necessary business. So otherwise, all these facilities, you know, shops and restaurants are closed. It's, I'm now very near the Tokyo station, the heart of Tokyo. So Tokyo in its center has come almost to a standstill. John Love is closed. The sun is almost setting in Tokyo. So there are many nice art exhibitions in Tokyo, but it has been closed for many weeks now because of the coronavirus outbreak and one wonders if one would have a chance to see these great artworks before this, you know, the season is over. I mean, you never know. Probably these works would never see the light. Sad. 
There's a beautiful art display here, but there's almost nobody to see it. So I have walked from the Hamamatsu station to the Tokyo station and this is Tokyo station. So in the case of Tokyo, it's not a total lockdown as in North America or in European countries. So there are some people walking around on some businesses, including myself. However, there are noticeably fewer people on the streets and a majority of restaurants and shops are closed for business so you do see a really strange phenomenon going on this is really unusual and you see there the countdown clock to the Olympics so because the Olympics and Paralympics. The games are now postponed by one year. The countdown clock has been reset and it now displays um, 471 days until the opening ceremony of the Olympics 2020, which would be actually held in 2021. So there's this tinge of sadness when you see this countdown clock. Something unusual has happened, is happening to our lives. I hope everything will go back to normal life uh, sooner or later. I think it's everybody's wish nowadays around the globe. And I do hope that the Tokyo Olympics on the new dates will go forward and all these great athletes will come to Tokyo and compete in their beautiful games, beautiful demonstration of their physical capabilities from Tokyo. Ken Mogi has been walking.